Hey guys, I'm here with Dallas Good at Good's Truck Repair. They've been doing some really cool builds in the last year or so, so we wanted to come up and check out what they've, what they've got going on now. Uh, there's two really cool builds they're, they're into now that we can kind of follow along with. But before we get there, I want to talk to Dallas about um, how his business got started and, uh, and, yeah. and where it's going. Yeah, so... Uh... For me personally, like growing up around trucks, my dad has a small trucking company. So I don't know, I've been working on trucks as long as I can remember. Okay. Uh, I don't know, at least six, six years old, probably. Wow. I was okay. uh, washing trucks, greasing, changing mud flaps, yeah, you name it. Um, and then just, yeah, that's kind of just being around them uh, really all my life. Uh, drove truck for about two years um, when I was 19. Bought a truck, went trucking for about two years. And that was just kind of for the experience. Um, I didn't, I liked driving truck, but I knew I wasn't gonna do it a long time. Okay. And, uh, every time I was driving truck, I was just thinking about building trucks. <laughs> okay. um, so like literally I was driving down the road thinking about what all I can do to my truck and uh, then spend the weekend working on it and messing with it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Trying to make it cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, then after that, I started working in the shop for my dad and that's when I really did the first big project. Um, my dad had a truck roll over and towed it in and started rebuilding that thing. Uh, Charlie Klopp was the guy that came by the shop and we were, he helped and taught me how to repanel the sleepers, cabs, okay. hoods, you name it. Um, so still to this day, I have him on speed dial. Okay. He, okay. Gotcha. I still call him with questions, uh, depending on what we're running into. Yeah. He's uh, taught me a lot about building these things. So. Okay. Um, yeah. Then in 2015, we started Goods Truck Service, and at that time, it was to provide uh, maintenance and repair for RGM Transport, my brother's company. Mm -hmm. um, and that was yeah, mainly just tires, whatever, maintenance for his company. Um, that's how it started. And all that time on the side, I was, I had buddies. I had, at that time I had painting experience. Um, I'd worked in a body shop for a couple of years and so I had some paint experience and a passion for these cool trucks and okay. building them and stuff. So uh, I had, yeah, I was always doing these side jobs for buddies in the, I have a bunch of owner operator buddies that they'd need hoods painted or this painted, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was just doing this on the side and then that kept picking up, kept doing that. And then finally in, 2021, uh, we got rid of all the maintenance stuff and went full on with the uh, truck painting and transforming the trucks uh, to what the customer likes to see. So, okay. Um, and how we do that a little bit is uh, these guys have a lot of ideas and stuff they see. Mm -hmm. um, so, stuff they're dreaming about while they're driving down the road. So we'll take their ideas and try to create a vision for the truck mm -hmm. and then uh, bring that to a reality through, uh, through we think it's best done with strategic painting parts, uh, placing the lights at the right spot, um, different st styles of exhaust and all of that yeah. to kind of create like a vibe for the truck, yeah. um, whether it's old school, simple and clean we like that um yeah so i think a lot of it goes that goes into these it's just uh kind of having a plan instead of just sticking lights wherever you think right and, right yeah uh, for sure stick on chrome yep we don't like that stuff yep, <laughs> yep. uh 
So, and we really do, you, there's a lot of great shops in the area. Mm -hmm. So um, we do use those people too for anything we can't do, like stainless, you name it. There's yeah. all kinds of stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of shops in the area. So. Right, and I think a lot um, of people don't realize it's not like everybody's competing against one another. Right. Everybody kind of leans on each other. Exactly. Everybody's got their own strengths. Yeah, so. for sure. I, um, I like that too. I think uh, we're not competing. We're just working together to make the trucking industry a better place. Right, like, right. There's so many trucks. Yeah. <laughs> guys that want to have things built or oh, yeah. just additions made to the truck. Right. One shop could not handle that no. workload. So. And I think you'll find that at any of these shops that everybody's got plenty of work to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, at least that's what I find. That's, that's what it seems like. <laughs> um, so that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's unfortunate for the customer. Uh, sometimes it's a waiting game for them yeah. to get anything done. But uh, I think everybody's doing the best they can. and. I think so. Trying to do what they can. You know, that's just like you said. There's, it's it's kind of frustrating. I'm sure for mm -hmm. for customers sometimes they got to wait yeah, in I line. Yeah, I doubt it. But if you want, mm -hmm. you know, a quality job, you, you know, you yep. get what you pay for, and you got to wait. Yeah. So. I mean, I I can relate. I don't like waiting on parts when I have to. Right? But <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that's part of it. Some of the some of the builds you did last year, like mm -hmm. the, um, I'll drop a picture in here. The, yeah. the black, red, and silver. Yep. The it's a 378. 88, yep. 1988. So did you build that for a customer or you just <laughs> No, that was that my as... own. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That thing so... is so cool. <laughs> Thanks. I had, that was uh, some ideas I had. And yeah. So I had a few trucks um, that I, there were drivers in. I had them leased on to RGM Transport. Mm -hmm. And I had, so I was running trucks. I bought that truck. And I was gonna restore it and probably put a driver in it. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with it, although I just knew I wanted to build this truck. Yeah. Um, that's the things I think about all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, and then, yeah, so I bought it, and that was like over a five year period that I bought it, and we'd work on it, we'd get busy, we'd push it out, and then bring it back in. And um, so that was over five years. Of building that one and then over that period so I had a few trucks for it was 10 years and then last year it was just it was too much and I ended up selling all of my other trucks because I wanted okay. to focus on the shop and what we're doing here and it was difficult to do that while trying to maintain my own trucks um, so I sold all the other trucks and then I had this last one that yeah. at the time wasn't quite finished. Okay. Um, so we shifted gears there a little bit and uh, finished it and sold it to okay. uh, Virgil. Yeah. We were talking about that earlier. I didn't realize that truck was an 88. Yeah, it's a 1988. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool truck for um, sure. Who so else's yeah. trucks did you work on last um, year? I um, want to say last year at our show there was a silver mm -hmm. 379 or 389 yes. stand up. Okay, yes. Yep. Yeah, that one uh, is actually out, might be out in the parking lot now. Okay. Um, that one is actually owned by Nathan Martin, uh, which works here in the shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that one he had did, uh, and it was kind of one of those deals he was working out of his dad's shop, and uh, so we'd bring parts over here and paint it, and uh, he'd go home and work on the weekends on that thing. Oh, okay, um, cool. So, yeah, that one. Uh, that was a big one. He had, that's a different chassis and oh, wow. yeah, all kinds of stuff on that okay. one. Okay. Uh, originally was a 48 inch flat top and then, yeah, changed a bunch of stuff out gotcha. of that and repaired. It was, that one before he had started on it was pretty rough and yeah, just brought it back to life. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, do you do, would you do like, would you just add a set of fenders if a customer wanted that or? Yeah. Yeah, we okay. definitely do that. Um, yeah, visors, exhaust, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, really, a lot. I, we don't make stainless parts here, mm -hmm. um, but there. That's one thing where well, we will outsource to. There's all kinds of great stainless working yeah, people a bunch in, of the area. in the yeah. area for sure. So uh, that's where another place where we use other people to. Uh, okay. 
complete the truck. Gotcha. The two trucks that we're going to look at today, we'll start with uh, Shane Schofield's truck that's behind us. Mm -hmm. um, what all, okay, you told me off camera, the 22? Yeah, 2022. 22. So W100L, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, what all is this truck getting done? So um, what we're looking at is it's a 2022. They had ordered it as a day cab, mm -hmm. um, 300 inch wheelbase. And it had, originally had a Cummins in it. Uh, they took the Cummins out, put a C16 Cat in it. Oh, nice. So they dynoed it, and currently it's at 701 to the wheels. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I don't know if it's staying there or not, okay. but it's, yeah. Shane was nice. telling me, he's like, yeah, it's, it's got plenty of power. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Uh, then, yeah, so we got the Aerodyne 1 sleeper here. Um, that we're just test fitting right now. Mm -hmm. And so that's all gonna be painted. Um, the frame, we're sandblasting and painting the whole frame. Okay. Um, the, yeah, we gotta do the step boxes, both sides. We're putting the bets lights up on the roof. Yeah, I noticed um, that. Yeah. <laughs> I had not seen that before. No. So. <laughs> I think soon enough you'll see uh, see that start. <laughs> That's going gonna around. be bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, the idea there is to uh, yeah get all the lights matching. Yeah. Um, so That's definitely bumper air cleaners back of the truck. Okay. Uh, the idea is to go bets lights all around and. Gotcha. We figured uh, we might as well not stop at the cab lights. Because yeah, Shane's originally from what, Wyoming or? Um, South Dakota. South Dakota, okay. Yeah. And it was out yeah. that part of the country. So um, I guess he recently moved to Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of yeah. more of a West Coast look anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. a little bit, yeah. Yep. But yeah, this thing is going to be super cool. And we'll, we'll come back and check yeah. the progress on it and uh, definitely get the, uh, the finished version on video yeah. and, and probably do some some still shots for the magazine yep. as well. Um, some, it's gonna be cool. Yeah, there's there's gonna be a lot of details in it. Um, like uh, the peep window, the little window on the door is deleted. Okay. Um, turn signals are coming off the fenders. So we'll be painting the hood. Uh, then as far as like the plan is, we're painting a bunch of the in interior parts like uh, door jams and a bunch of that stuff. So okay. there'll be a lot of smaller things that take a lot of time. Okay. Is it going to be purple, this yeah, color purple? Yeah, magenta. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And then, yeah, of course, drop it down, get the stance. Oh, yeah. Low. The Peterbilt mm -hmm. is, you said it's a Canadian truck. Yes. Um, what's the plans for this? Obviously, it's a complete frame off build. Yes. Um, yeah. What year is it? This one is a uh, 2000 with a 90, it's a 99 build date. Okay. Um, with a cat, cat engine. Uh, it's getting a new transmission. And then what we did is we put new frame rails in it. Mm -hmm. um, we got newer style suspension with disc brakes so it's okay. got yeah the new style low air leaf disc brakes all around and then um yeah drop the front it's not going to be super long because it's canadian right um and then the sleeper cab hood all gets repaneled um painted after that it's going over spare time for interior. Okay. It's all the details. All the details and it's, yeah, it's gonna be a lot. Okay, well not to put you on the spot, but what's like a time frame for this one to be done? Uh, you don't oh have boy. to answer. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably be uh, the end of March, April. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, we'll definitely do our best to, like with the Kenworth to, yep. to, to come up and kind of follow the progress. Yeah. It's, it's really cool that it's just pretty much a bare frame at this mm -hmm. point. Yeah. So 
um, we really see it come to life. Yeah, bare frame, so like new airbags, shocks, bushings, all that. Run the new airlines, wiring, chassis wiring. Um, yeah, like all the bolts are new. Okay. Uh, new fuel tanks. Yeah, it's got the 389 leaf springs in the front with the air ride. Um, drop axle in the front. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay. <laughs> um, I noticed it's got heart windows cut into the sleeper. Is yeah. there anybody in particular you're using for the, for the windows themselves? So th that was a difficult, yeah, we had to look around for that. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> the diamonds, you've seen them around. Yeah. So the heart ones, uh, the heart windows, we ended up getting them out of, uh, I think it's Ohio or Indiana, uh, ATG, Alliance Truck yeah, Group. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. I know they're, they're, they're uh, making them again. Yep. So, so that's where we were, uh, that's where we got them. Yeah, I think they're out of LaGrange, Indiana. Yeah, so somewhere there. I know yep. it's out there somewhere. Cool. That's why I was kind of asking. I was wondering yeah. that because I know they're, they're really hard to find. Mm -hmm. And there's ultimately right now, there's only one source that I know of to get yeah. from. So. That's so yeah. yeah, this one's going to be, I mean, they're both going to be so, yeah. so cool when they're done. Looking forward to it. I want to see those, the Betts lights on the Kenworth yeah. <laughs> on the roof lit up. That's You'll see be, this one coming down 30. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to miss it. Yeah. That's going to be cool. Good. Thanks yeah. so much for giving yeah. us yep. history. Yeah, thank and, you. Uh, Thanks for coming out. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, all, you, all you do for a large car. And thank it's, you. It's awesome. Yeah. We're, I like seeing that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So thanks a lot. Yeah. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.